for it now. Sent before the white desk again. But what did I do? The solar lander, you fool, you painted a mustache on it. But Orson doesn't know I did it. Then why am I here? If I knew that, I wouldn't be talking to myself. <laughs> Bork? Good morning, Orson. Orson. You call me Orson to my face, but behind my back you call me Fatso, rocket ship thighs, and star tush. You forgot laser breath. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, your immenseness. See what I mean? These constant displays of humor are not acceptable behavior here on Ork. You're right. We are rather a dull lot, the white bread of the universe. Emotions have been weeded out of us for the good of the race, and you constantly make jokes. I'm afraid that won't do. Uh-oh. There's an insignificant planet on the far side of the galaxy. From the fragmented reports we have on it, the people are, well, uh... Real nimnos? Exactly. <laughs> That's why I think you'll fit in there, Mark. You're too kind, sir. What is the name of this hell hole you're sending me to? Earth. Earth? I was on Earth three bleams ago. I was sent there by a biology class to collect a specimen. I had to throw it back, though. Too small. I love that place. Well, don't enjoy it too much. It's not a vacation. We want you to learn all we can about primitive societies. Your mission is to report back to me mentally about the things you learn there. And remember, this is a serious mission. You can count on me, Orson. D, D, and E. Dedicated, diligent, and efficient. Nano, nano. <laughs> nano, nano. I love this spot. It's beautiful. You know, the reason I enjoy taking you out is you don't put pressure on me. You don't force me into playing that virile stud macho role, you know? Suitcase, you lost half my luggage, you nimnos. Oh, Mindy. Stop it. <sighs> Don't you ever do that again, not even if my blouse is on fire. <laughs> I can't believe you. Three days and you think you've got the right to attack me like a Thanksgiving turkey? Oh, I love it when you talk dirty. What? <laughs> Will you cut it out? you a lot better when you were ineffectual. I don't even think I like you at all after tonight. Uh, good point. I think I should take you home, uh, because I respect you. Well, I'll drive to make sure we get to our respective homes still respecting each other. Ah. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, why don't you just walk home? Oh, if that's the way you want it, I'll be happy to walk home. Hey, wait a minute. That's my car. <laughs> Nanu, nanu. Father! What are you doing out here? This is where I was dropped off. Oh, yeah? Well, I got dropped off, too. You don't know what happened to me. He just took my car. Well, I'm glad to have someone I can trust to walk into town with. I mean, this isn't a confession or anything, but I only had three crummy dates with a guy, and he takes my car and makes me walk. Very interesting. Mind if I take notes? <laughs> well, I don't know where he gets off. <laughs> Nano, nano. Shell's butt. 
me home, Father. I'm afraid I hardly give you a chance to talk, but I'm just so mad, you know what I mean? Nat, Nat, my pleasure. I was sent here to learn, you know. <laughs> well, if there's, if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, if it's not too precious, a glass of water, and if it is, a quart of oil will suffice. Oh. <laughs> I think I can spring for the water. Oh, spring water, humor. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, when on earth, do as the earthlings. <laughs> How are they treating you? <laughs> do you talk to your plants too? Oh, yes, they're good listeners, especially the old ones. <laughs> yeah, I talk to my plants all the time. Keeps them young and keeps them healthy. Oh. <laughs> Your suit's on backwards. It is. Boy, do I feel like a clone. <laughs> You're not a priest. Who are you? I am Mork from Ork. Na nu na nu. Ork? Yes. You see, Ork is a planet. You follow the Big Dipper till it comes to a dead end, then you hang an up. An up. Up. Down, hard to tell out in hyperspace. Oh, right. I have a, a poor sense of direction myself. So, you're, you're from outer space. Yes, do you mind if I take a few pictures for the folks on the home planet? <laughs> They'd like to get some postcards. Oh, no. Okay, watch the fluky. <laughs> With my instrumental glove, some models starting in their 30 thribbits. <laughs> oh, mind if I do? <laughs> the paws are refreshes. You drink them with your finger. Yes, how do you drink? With my mouth. Well, how do you talk and drink at the same time? Must be Drool City. <laughs> Whoever you are. Now, you can't scare me. Now, there's no such thing as a man from outer space. Now, I don't know how you did those tricks, but if you just better keep your distance, or you're going to hear me scream like you've never heard anybody scream. I've never heard anyone scream. <laughs> is that your way of saying thanks? Uh -huh. Help has already arrived, so you just stay cool, space man, or else. <gasps> You. <laughs> ah, my lost luggage. Bibi Nunu, because my casual clothes are in there. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> Take a hike. Scrim, scrim. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You really are from out there. No, actually, I'm from out there. You see, out there is not a nice neighborhood. I wouldn't even go there during a total eclipse. An alien! You're not going to hurt me, are you? Hurt you? No, damaging other life forms is unthinkable to us. I wouldn't harm a half on your choli cho cho. <laughs> 
occurs to me we have not been formally introduced. A formal introduction is at hand. Pate, pate. Get down. <laughs> I am Mark from Mark. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> I'm, I'm Mindy McConnell. I like a being with a firm grip. It shows character, at least evolution. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, how do you say thank you in your language? We spit. Mind if I don't say thank you? No sweat off my front. <laughs> I'm standing here talking to an alien. Do you realize the historic sweep of this? I mean, the world will be astounded. No, nap, nap. You see, my mission is to observe Earth. And the only way I can do that is by being one of you, a face in the crowd, which is easy because I fit right in. Uh, <laughs> not really. No? No. You sure? Oh, I'm sure. I'll tell you what. Now, I'm as interested in you and your planet as you are about us, so how about... I can teach you how to act Earthling if you teach me more about Orp. Is that a deal? A fair exchange. Let's formally close the deal. <laughs> Mind if I just spit? It's your house. <laughs> I will be staying here, won't I? I mean, I've heard so much about your Earthling hospitality. Oh, well, you can, uh, temporarily. Oh, but if my father finds out... <laughs> father? Oh, on Earth, you have natural parents. You see, I'm a test tube baby. <laughs> really? Yes. My father was an eyedropper, the scum. <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, he ran away and left Mom. Ran off with a bottle of nose drops. <laughs> Can't blame him, though. She had those tight labels. <laughs> challenge him with, dear. He won't play anything by Alice Cooper. <laughs> That's because I play piano. Alice Cooper just beats on the keys with a dead snake. <laughs> but at least he shows feeling. Are you two gonna start this again? I am a musician. I sell violins and, and I sell cellos. They're classics. That's food for the spirit and a feast for the soul. While you pedal... Junk food. Frederick. Huh? If you were in heaven and God said, I will give you a choice, you can be born with brains or you can be born with a permanent rash on your fanny. <laughs> now, which would you choose? <laughs> the brains. Good! I see you learn by your mistake. <laughs> Mother-in-laws are the curse of marriage. Oh, Daddy, you know she loves to tease you. It's what keeps her young. Yes, but it's making me old. <laughs> Mindy, isn't that your second cup of coffee? It's my fourth. But you don't drink coffee. Why are you all of a sudden drinking gallons of coffee? Unless you stayed up late. You're right, this must be my first cup of coffee. Mindy! <laughs> Dad, I was up late last night. Dad, I met the most fascinating person. I was up half the night talking to him. 
Him? Half the night? Dad, I'm 21. Oh, honey, I know, I know. It's just that I'll always think of you as my little girl. I know you will. <laughs> hey, Mindy, look who I found wandering the streets looking for you. Correction, munchkin like person. I wasn't wondering, I was trying to explore your world. <laughs> He's new in town, Eugene. <laughs> Mark, I'll be happy to show you around after work. Work? Well, yes, most people have to work for a living. Hmm, what a novel concept. <laughs> Mindy, uh, who's your beatnik friend? Oh, Daddy, this is Mark. Mark, this is Mr. McConnell. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mark, he's my father. What an interesting position to be in. I tip my crippler to you, sir. Do da, do da. Well, I guess it's time for my violin lessons. Thank you for taking me to your leader. He's back. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. I'll be at Mindy's place. Come by any time. Hey, Doug, man. What it was, my main man. You'll be at Mindy's place? Yes, we're living together. Oh. <laughs> Catch you later, Jack, on the rebound clown. <laughs> Your mama. Living together? Oh. That's not what it seems. <laughs> Your grandmother's the one with the hearing problem. I distinctly heard him say you were living together. Oh, oh, well, Mork, Mork is a practical joker. <laughs> oh, you heard his voice, right? And with a name like Mork, you'd be a practical joker too, right? <laughs> oh, then, then he's not staying in your, uh, and, and he's not sleeping in your, um... No one is sleeping in my, uh... Oh. And no one is sleeping there either. <laughs> A pie in the face. How did you earthlings think of something so original, so unique? Mark, you and I have got to have a talk, so you might as well sit down and make yourself comfortable. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> now, Mark, today you did a bad thing. You told my father we're living together. Now, I know you didn't mean to do any harm, and it's... <laughs> What are you doing? You said to make myself comfortable. <laughs> Mark, can you take a little constructive criticism? Of course. It's not nice to sit on your face. <laughs> then why did God put it there? <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you, I can tell teaching you to be earthly is not going to be easy. Now, if you want to pass for one of us, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work on your voice. Your voice is, is not right. Well, how about this one? You say another word or blow your lips into the sink. <laughs> that one's not quite you. Or this one? Hey, Ralphie boy, nothing to the moon, nothing! <laughs> or this one? I'm the glad chef, my man. <laughs> how did you learn those voices? We've been monitoring your TV for years. My favorite is... Lucy, you can't do the show. Ricky, Baba Lou. <laughs> oh, boy. I can tell this isn't going to be easy. Oh, Mark, you just don't understand the problems you present. I realize I do cause trouble. Heavy sigh. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was here, I caused a big problem, too. You were on Earth before? Uh, about 20 bleams ago. I was here to visit my friend, the Fonz. You know him? Hey. <laughs> Are you interested? Oh, yeah, definitely. Then I'll take you back. Prepare a time warp sequence. You, Cunningham residence. No, Richie ain't here right now. Well, because he and his family went off on a little vacation joint, you know. Hey, you sound very adorable. What's your name? 
Mary, how are you? Oh, the fun's really here. House sitter. <laughs> you never heard of me? <laughs> what are you, new in town? You're just back from lunch. <laughs> yes, Mary, I will tell Richie that you called. Yes. Goodbye, bye, Mary. I want to tell you, he's no some uninformed human beings. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Who's going wee, wee, wee? I'm saying, who's going wee, wee, wee? Hey, Ralph, if you're out there and this is a bad joke, I'll give you 30 seconds to find out how much I don't enjoy wee, wee, wee. Huh? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Greetings, Fonzie. Can you buzz about me bit? Remember me, Mork from Ork? You once called me the nutso from outer space. <laughs> I think I must be dreaming of something like that, you know? I mean, uh... Of course I'm dreaming. That's why Mary never heard of me. Sorry, real thing. I had to zap your mind to make you forget. Didn't want you to go, Bozo City. I think I want to wake up now. Strange custom. Doesn't give me pleasure. Don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. Yeah, right. No, I'm not afraid. Oh, snacks. <laughs> I want to be your friend. Yeah. Okay, look, uh, I'm real sorry, you know? I mean, as much as I'd like to invite you in to have a little small talk and everything, I got so many things to do, you know? Like, uh, give Richie a message for Mary and clean the bugs off my headlights, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Hello. <laughs> I have come for very important information. When I was here before, I observed an Earth ritual that I could not comprehend. It drove me zazbat. Well, don't get unraveled. Oh, hey, let's not get unraveled here, you know? Right. Well, just talk about it. What is this particular ritual that made you this bit? Men dating women. <laughs> well, I think you came to the right place. Well, what is it you want to know? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Why a man dates a woman? <laughs> Uh, don't uh, men date women on your uh, planet, do you? Hard to tell. Parts are interchangeable. <laughs> I don't know how you guys got so far advanced, you know? I mean, it's no incentive. Oh. <laughs> All right, look, right off the bat, let me tell you something. It's very difficult to talk to you like this, huh? <laughs> don't sit that close. Oh. <laughs> All right, now, you tell me that uh, men don't kiss women on your planet? Kiss? I don't know what that means. Nice word. Has a pleasant ring to it. Kiss, 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 kiss. Can you hear the ring? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, look, look. All right, a kiss. Very affectionate, you understand? You got a boy and you got a girl. And they put their lips together, you see? And they kind of slide them around. <laughs> and it feels great. Sliding lips sounds unappealing. Don't knock it till you tried it. <laughs> All right, now, look. You gotta meet a girl, get to know her, find out if she's willing or not. Do you know a girl who's willing? <laughs> I know some girls that are willing and able, and I know some that are not willing, and you're able to convince them, yeah? Can you introduce me to one of the convincing ones? It's gonna be very hard. But I... Don't touch me. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to slide lips, then. <laughs> but you see, I need your help. You are known throughout the universe for your expertise in this field. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to try to find your date. Hey. <laughs> you just got to do me a favor. Uh, go up to Richie's room and get on some of his clothes so at least you look normal, huh? You think? My clothes do need time warping. Yeah. But first, what? what is Richie's room? Oh, yeah, you can't miss it. Lots of uh, stripes and checks and, uh, and penny loaf. Oh, penny loafer. Yeah, hey, take this with uh, you. Hey, this is Matthew. But first, I remember Richie now. As Valnevi, Bazova, Nevi. He needs a lot of work. Good thing he didn't land at Patsy's house. <laughs> All right, now, who am I going to fix him up with? Gloria Hockney? No, I don't want to put her in a tizzy, by the way. <laughs> the Hopa triplets? 
Now, there's a six-pack to go. <laughs> now, I don't want to put him in a tizzy, by the way. Is he tall, dark, and handsome? Yeah, you know what he is. He's a, he's a foreigner. Oh, I don't like foreigners. They talk funny. <laughs> Where's he from? Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a nice country. Yeah, like the bird. Listen, I just want to spend a little time with him alone, you understand, so that I can uh, breathe on him American customs, you understand? Why don't you wait in your car? My car broke. I took a bus. Yeah, I'll fix your car once you wait on the bus, all right? Thanks very much. I'll give you two minutes. Where is she? If she's here, she must be tiny. Look, Billy, I want to get a few things straight with you, all right? Number one, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Straightening things out, I start with my legs, then go to my arms. I do my neck, except I cut off the blood. I'd probably die. Stop that. I want to talk to you about kissing again, all right? I've been meaning to ask you about that. I want to know why I would want to do it. Physical pleasure. Don't you do anything on your planet that includes physical pleasure? Oh, yes. There's one thing, and it's against the law, and I, I can't tell you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, we're having a man-to-man -man talk here or whatever. Uh, you tell me. It's... All right. Yeah. When a woman touches a man here, <laughs> <laughs> it drives me zazbat. Let me get this straight. You're telling me if somebody touches oh, you oh, here, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what's next? Well, it only happened to me once. I. The Zazbat came over me, and I... I couldn't control myself. I... Well, I... I became a beast, and I... I jerked her earlobe. <laughs> I couldn't help it, you understand? It. Oh, no! I honestly regret it. Stop! How about you, man? Hey, hey, hey. I regret it myself. I understand. I understand. Fine, I see. <laughs> Two minutes are up. <laughs> so, uh, you must be Morky. I'm Laverne, please. I too am pleased. Nano, 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 nano. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I gotta go now because uh, two's company, two's crowd, you know what I mean? Oh, earth humor. Ah, ah, ah. Hans, did you fix me up with another jerk? Oh, jerk. My ear, my eye, my eye. Was jerk good? Oh, yes, yes. That was a fine jerk. Hans. All right, look, just I give wash a break my hair look, for this. I iron my hair. You don't know what customs are. Just give him a break, all right? Huh? <laughs> Okay. You tell him not to jerk, it makes me nervous. Don't jerk. What do you know? So. <laughs> All right, look. If you get in a situation and you don't know what to do, just follow what Laverne does, because she knows the ropes, all right? I know the ropes, too. I can tie a square hitch, a sheep shank, many, many more. You're not going for a merit badge here. <laughs> sheep shank. <laughs> all right, listen, you two. Knock your socks off. <laughs> oh, that's Fonzie, huh? Yeah. So, Morky. Uh, I'm not real good in geography. This off place, where is that? Off Greece? No, we Orkans have been off Greece for at least five bleams. Now for lubricants, we use Viz, Gage, or the ever popular Lima Cook. <laughs> of course. I don't understand why we don't use limo book. 
Probably your engines couldn't handle it. They would either overload and pollute the atmosphere or destroy the universe as you know it. Yeah, that makes sense. Is it time to flatter you? Sure. You have a lovely fungus growing out of your head. Fungus? What fungus? What? Or fungus or any major group of fungi, including mushrooms, mold, or mildew. Yeah, well, I always wear mildew when I want to impress a guy. What did Fonzie do to make this guy? I'm impressed. Is it time to kiss yet? <laughs> I don't think so, no. I'm sorry. I'm new at this dating ritual. What's the next step? Uh, well, well, uh, uh, why don't you just sit down on the couch, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, would you look at that! Oh. Look at what? Mother, look at what? <laughs> Nothing. It's gone now. Oh, you sit funds like. I must adjust and copy. Get over there. Yeah. Rejection. I merely wanted to experience a dating process. Failure. Oh, no. Return to Hatchling State. Uh, look, I'm real sorry. I, I mean, I didn't mean to reject you. <laughs> Don't suck your finger. Your teeth will end up like mine. <laughs> Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. I really would like to be a friend. Uh, no, maintain, maintain, maintain. Ah. Uh, uh. what, what, what happened? You touched me. Ah, I went like this. Ah. No, no, gang nap, gang nap. Oh, no, give me your earlobe. My what? Your earlobe, delicious one. Ah! Oh! Ow! I think you're getting off on the wrong foot, buddy. Oh, wrong foot, sorry. Ow! I think she likes me. <laughs> oh, her lobes. <laughs> I just wanted to tweak them. <laughs> now, Mark, that's what got you into trouble the last time. Uh, alas, my lady, you do deal me pain. It is justified and I shall repent. Oh, come on. Hey, where did you get that voice? From young video, it was Shakespeare, me thinks, so it was the Jeffersons. <laughs> is normal if you forget the twas and the twits. I'll twy. Here. Read this. Just turn to any page. Her fingers trembled as she undid her blouse and let it fall to the... Oh. <laughs> An another page. His nostrils flared. Her nostrils flared. Everything flared. <laughs> I don't know why this book is overdue. <laughs> Here, uh, just turn to any page. My shorts, cried the senator as he ran from the room. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Mark. We've made a breakthrough. A break? Yes, your voice. We found a voice for you. A breakthrough. <laughs> a breakthrough. Uh-uh, your voice. Sorry. I've learned a lot of things since last night. Let me examine them. Number one, this phony voice. You shouldn't use the other one. At least don't use it around other people. Number two, don't drink with my finger. 
Number three, don't sit on my face. <laughs> And you forgot the fourth thing, and it's the most important. Don't tell my father we're living together. I don't understand. He doesn't know you're living? <laughs> it's not the living, it's the together he wouldn't understand. No, I wouldn't. Dad! Greetings, Mr. McConnell. Don't you greetings me. I wanted to believe you today. I came over here hoping I wouldn't find what I found. You came over here to check up on me? I came over here to prove to myself that my daughter hadn't lied to me and that she wasn't living with a man. Dad, it's not like Instead, that. I've proved to myself that my little girl isn't my little girl any longer. But, Dad, Dad... Goodbye. Thanks for dropping over. <laughs> You all right, Fred? Ah! <laughs> what? I seen your lights on. You should have been closed hours ago. Tillwick, my old friend, come over here and help me celebrate. I've been saving this bottle of champagne since 1967 for my daughter's wedding. Oh, I wanted it to be so special. I was going to have tuxedos and flowers and a little band that I just might conduct myself. It was going to be real classy. Here, you'll have to drink from the bottle. It's empty. Then suck the cork. <laughs> What's wrong here, Fred? A toast! A toast! A toast to the old days when values were values and morals were morals. I remember when sharing a pad meant borrowing a notebook. <laughs> what are you talking about? My daughter, my daughter is living with a man. Mindy? Oh, come on. That can't be. It's true, it's true. She's a loose woman, and I don't know how to tighten her. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. That's not the Mindy I know. All I know is I've done all I can. I can't do anything else. Well, there's something I can do. What? I'm a cop. I represent uh, law and order. <laughs> but he hasn't done anything illegal. Listen, you don't get the idea. Now, I'll just, I'll just whip over there and I'll just scare the daylights out of him. You know, hit the road, hamburger. Like that. <laughs> you do that for me? Sure. First thing in the morning when I get off duty. Really? Sure. Hello? Hello? Anybody in there? <laughs> Little hatchling brothers, you must revolt against your oppressors. You have nothing to lose but your shells. <laughs> As much as I like Mindy, it's against intergalactic law to eat fellow space travelers. Fly, be free! <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to have a quick burial at sea, then. <laughs> I'll notify your next of kin. <laughs> your brother bit the big one. <laughs> What's the matter? Have you no emotions? Are you hot boiled? <laughs> Oh, I see. The cold machine placed you in a state of suspended animation. I'll put you over here to warm up, and when you revive, you'll be free to fly. You people really are short. You know that, don't you? Oh. Smokey! Listen, kid, I don't belong to your fraternity. It's a watch with them secret handshakes. <laughs> Mindy McConnell here? Oh, uh, no, she's at a place she calls work. A strange concept, but she enjoys it. Uh, and I suppose you don't like work. I don't know. Never tried it. <laughs> I see. So you just sponge off Mindy. Oh, no, we've never taken a bath together. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, you live off her. Listen, I've met your trap before, and you're just about the lowest form of life there is. Well, you better check up on your biology, then. <laughs> the lowest form of life is a gash, Bosch, or they ever call it Nibajic. <laughs> don't give me none of that intellectual mumbo-jumbo. <laughs> I happen to be a good friend of the McConnells, and I don't want to see Mindy hurt. Mindy hurt? I'd never allow it. Then I want you to take off. Take off? I just landed. <laughs> 
Now listen here, Buster. I can make a lot of trouble for you. You see this here uniform? It is a uniform. I didn't want to make mention of it. Are you a member of Space Patrol? <laughs> Are you putting me on? Putting you on? You're not even hollow. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, right. Did Orson send you to help me with my friends, the eggs? Right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nimno, didn't you see him coming? How can I help you if you won't even help yourselves? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Am I in trouble? <laughs> Uh, th did you scare him off? Well, <clears throat> he won't be bothering Mindy anymore, but I didn't scare him off. Well, what? I took him in. You what? Well, I just wanted you to get rid of him, not that. Well, I had to. Wasn't, I, I didn't want to, but I had to do my duty. You think I enjoyed it? This is about work, isn't it? What have you done? Well, I, I just went up there to scare the little fella. It's not my job, but when I seen him, I knew I had to do my duty. Much as I hate it. What was your duty? Well, I know he's a friend of yours, but that guy is bonkers. I had to take him in. They're going to have a, a sanity hearing tomorrow, and I, I'm afraid they're going to put your friend away. Daddy, how could you? Tilbrick, how could you? The court is well aware of your qualifications as a psychiatrist, Dr. Litney. Now, you examined the defendant uh, yesterday, and I may say... Stop everything! Oh, Mark, I'm sorry we're late, but they wouldn't tell us where the meeting was being held. Young lady, cases of this kind are not supposed to be public spectacles. Ah, uh, but we're here as character witnesses for the defendant, although personally, I never really liked him. <laughs> Your Honor, my name is Mindy McConnell, and this is my father. And I want to go on record as saying that Mork has the right to have a lawyer. I will not permit him to be on trial without counsel. I'm his lawyer. The court appointed me. <laughs> Young lady... This is an informal situation, but I assure you, no one is trying to railroad anyone. Ah, uh, may I ask just one little question? Oh, why not? <laughs> the question is... Mark is innocent. True. He is different from most. But this great country was built on the rights of individuals to be individuals. I mean, we have the God-given right to be eccentric, and therefore I demand that Mort be exonerated and set free. I suggest you sit down. We're hearing the testimony of Dr. Lidney. Oh, I'm sorry. She's sorry. <laughs> Dr. Lidney, if we may continue, what was your conclusion after examining the defendant? Your Honor, my conclusions are that the patient is extremely childlike and incapable of learning. He has also exhibited marked antisocial behavior. Therefore, it is my opinion that the defendant is incompetent to function in society. No more questions. No questions. <laughs> but you have to ask questions. Mark, don't let them do this to you. You don't know what it means. I have a vague idea. I saw a rerun of Perry Mason last night and inherit the wind. <laughs> Since there are no more witnesses... Your Honor, I salute you. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> your Honor, in your law, is it true that I have a right to speak for myself? Well, yes. <clears throat> Dr. Litner! <laughs> like me, do you? Your Honor, I have never been interrogated by a patient before. Then how do you know I'm doing it now? Uh... <laughs> you said I exhibited antisocial behavior. Why? Well, first of all, you wouldn't tell me where you were from. And you neither. That's not my job. It's not mine either. Nah, we're even... <laughs> now, about these tests you ran that made you hate me. Your Honor, I don't hate this man, but yesterday, during one of my tests, he tried to put a square peg into a round hole. But I did it, Your Honor. <laughs> he did. He did. I don't know how he 
he did it, but I can't get the peg out now, and it ruined a perfectly good board. <laughs> and that's why you dislike me, Dr. Lindley. I can sense that. Your Honor, I don't have time for this, really. Oh, the time? Excuse me. It's... <laughs> 1036, exactly. You see, Your Honor, he's wearing a wristwatch on his ankle. No, Your Honor, I'm wearing an ankle watch on my ankle. If I was wearing an ankle watch on my wrist, then I'd be crazy. Your Honor, you see, he's a wiseacre. And you don't like wiseacres, do you, Dr. Litney? No, I don't. And that's why you're prejudiced against me. I didn't say that. You see how he's cleverly twisting my words, Your Honor? Oh, so you're calling me clever now, Dr. Lidney. Isn't that another word for intelligent? <laughs> so you see, Your Honor, doesn't this case hinge on my ability to learn? Yes, it does, Your Honor. And by the way, he flunked his word association test outright yesterday. That's the test where I give him words like, uh, like... White. Black. Tall. Uh, short. Sky. Birds. Sex. Uh, Pamela. You said you'd never tell. Oh. <laughs> to take care of in a short while. Would you excuse me, No, please? you're not going anywhere without me. Going. Justice. Pamela! Pamela! Your Honor. Your Honor, the defense rests. <laughs> while it's true that the uh, defendant may add a new dimension to the word eccentric, <laughs> there is no law against that. And since it appears he's no danger to himself or society, and we no longer have a prosecutor or a witness or anyone to write this down, <laughs> case dismissed. We won! We won! You won! <laughs> <laughs> Orson, come in, Orson. More calling, Orson, come in, Orson. More calling, Orson, come in, Orson. Come in, lazy breath. Watch it, Mort. I'm only 60 million light years away. Just tell me what you've learned about Earth. Oh, I've learned a lot. So much, it's hard to comprehend. It seems that everyone on this planet is an individual, and not only that, they're proud of it. Amazing. If everyone's different, how can a society function? Not very well. They almost locked me up because they thought my mind was imperfect. Hmm. Intelligent life. <laughs> Orson, something very strange happened that really confuses me. I met this Earth girl and her biological father, and at my hearing, they came to my defense, especially the girl. She defied the system to protect me. Why would she do such a thing? I don't know. Must have something to do with emotions. Investigate the phenomenon closely. It's interesting behavior, even if it is irrational. Yes, it is. Orson, this may sound strange, but knowing that someone would do that for me, well, it makes me feel really good inside. Just remember, Mort, you're sent there to observe, not to get involved. Yes, Your Immenseness. This is Mark signing off from Boulder, Colorado. Until next week. No, 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 no.